say it too bad and just to remind you that I okay it's six seventeen PM. I'm getting sleepy but that's because I went to sleep yesterday at six PM. But I've literally had two nightmares last night. The first one, it was like, I, it was so scary. Like the first nightmare that I had yesterday was because the girls was running around playing. So uh, this was before they went to bed. Like I said, I went to sleep early yesterday so I can hear them yelling while I was asleep and so in my dream it was like I was 16 and I went to like a high school party and it was like so weird cause you know like that game like I never played that game cause I never went to a high school party but the cliche you know seven minutes in prison, you know, when you sit uh, in the closet. And it was like that type of thing. And, like, this guy was like, oh, I think you're so cute. Come and kiss me in the closet. And I was just like, okay. Like, yeah, like as a teen girl. Like I said, never went to a high school party never did all that and so like I went in the closet and then like all of a sudden like when I closed the door it was like he was like glowing like I'm trying to think of like like oogie boogie like he, he what it wasn't scary but it was like like sort of like he was a glow in the dark skeleton and all I remember is pink boots like I wasn't wearing pink boots but like it was like one of the girls that ran pink boots but like I was like okay but like I remember that I remember I was like so scared because like he wasn't doing anything scary like he never kissed because like like I said when he closed it was sort of like um, Jack Sparrow when um, when they was on that island how he was solid and then when he went into the moonlight he was a skeleton yeah it was like that so that was like the first scary um, the first scary um dream so i woke up and i'm like terrified because it was like what the thriller was that dream and then the second dream like i end up going back to sleep and then like the second dream that i had that was uber scary Like, I keep yawning. The second uber scary dream was, um, I don't, I don't really know how I met, like, cause I don't ever remember meeting the guy. Which I don't even know if I even met the guy. But it was like, I was like in this town. And like I was driving and it was like, I needed to, like something happened in the town. And like, like I can't remember, like either like buildings was burning down 
or like just make a type of show you will never upload. Because it was like even this neighborhood was burning down and all that. But anyway, so like I was gonna let's go like I was in the car and I was gonna leave. But then like my car broke down. So like I couldn't take the picture. And so this woman was like, oh, well, like, come to my house, and, you know, and I'll, I'll, uh, you can use my phone, because, like, I didn't have a cell phone at my dress, so she's like, oh, you can use my cell phone, you know, at my house, so I went to her house, and, you know, when I called a tow truck, and they're like, oh, well, we, uh, we don't come in that neighborhood after dark, and I was like, oh, Hey, I was like, but like I need to leave the neighbor, and they were like, well, we'll we'll come and get you in the morning. So I was like, okay, and so I asked her, I said, well, can you drop me off at a hotel? She goes, oh well, honey, she goes, you don't have to go to go to a hotel. You can stay, sleep on the couch. So that's what I did. Stayed at her house, slept on their couch. Got up the next morning. We ate breakfast. You know, her friends came over and all that. And we, you know, um, you know, but at, at lunchtime, it was time for me to, you know, like the tow truck guy came. So he was like, okay. And so, like, he towed my car away. And so, like, I was leaving. And she's like, oh, okay. And, and then it was like this one guy. Like, he came up to this girl, and, like, he came up to one of the women, and one of the women was like, oh my gosh, you're like, you know, this dirty homeless guy, and I'm just like, I'm like, well, why are you being mean to him? I was like, you know, and I was like, well, here you go, sir, and I gave him, like, $5, and that woman's like, Oh, well, you shouldn't give them money because you never know what they're going to do with it. I said, well, I said, I'm not, you know, uh, I'm not against feeding somebody that's hungry. And she's like, well, I wouldn't. Now, these, these three women, because it was like the woman that let me stay with her and then the other two women were classic Karen looking and so acting like Karen and so the other woman like the woman that let me you know sleep on her couch she's like oh but do you feed homeless people all the time and I go no I'm like if somebody says they're hungry if I got a sandwich I'll give them my sandwich if I don't have a sandwich I was like I don't carry cash I was like, I only had cash because, uh, like, this guy gave me, like, he, I forgot what he bought, I think it was, like, a picture, I was like, he bought, you know, this picture from me, and she's like, oh, really? And all that, so I'm like, yeah, so, like, the tow truck came, came and got my car, so I left, and then, like, I was, like, eloquent, like, I was young, and then, like that one woman was like, oh my gosh, you forgot your luggage over at my house. So I went back to her house to get my luggage. And so I like I walked in and like the two Karen friends just looked at me and I'm like, okay, you know, and I'm just like looking at them weird. And, and I walked in, I go, um, you know, to my, to the one girl, and, um, she's like, oh, well, here it is, and I said, okay, and then, like, I go to grab my bag, and she goes, so, here's your picture back, and I'm like, what, and, like, and I turn around, and she has a mail, and she's like, stay away from my husband, and she was going to to stab me, and I'm like, I don't even know who your husband is, and I woke up, because she was about to freaking kill me, 
Like he was coming and and I know you're like by now. And yeah, it was like the like the little screw. But it was like the point of her she was about to stab him. And I don't know if her husband brought a picture from it. Like I don't, cause I don't even remember no man besides the homeless man, and the homeless man didn't buy anything from me, and the only other man, like so I don't remember selling a picture to this woman's husband. I don't even remember this woman's husband. Like obviously, I knew that she got away from her husband, or she finna kill me. So. I'm just saying, that's the two things that I have that kind of freaked me out. I'm thinking I might have been running a low grade fever. I didn't feel sick. I don't feel sick. Like I got up and my body was hurting. I could type well, but like after I woke up, I woke up and I could type well. And then, like, I got, like, one hour of sleep. Like, one more hour of sleep. But, like I said, I slept for, like, 11 hours. And, um, so, yeah. That was my two things last night. Um, it was scary. Scary nonetheless. Very much scary. I don't wish that on anybody.